Hello everyone, welcome to part 3 for the Z-Drive belt modules and the motor mounts. To build a belt drive, you'll need the four large pulleys, and we'll need the four small pulleys, the four shafts, um, which are ground flat on one edge, which will be used for the set screws, and make sure you've got the set screws. Loctite to make sure these don't loosen up while in use, a set of bearings, and the spacers. We're going to go ahead and test assemble these as practice before we insert the Loctite and start to tighten everything up. And so insert the shaft into the large pulley. And then we'll add our bearing and insert to the spacers. A bearing. Two more spacers. We'll add the small pulley, make sure you align it in this particular way, and the final bearing. And we are going to be assembling four of these. Um, it looks like everything fits as it should. We will take this apart now for final assembly. And when you take out the set screws, make sure you're using the right Allen wrench bit. This is a two and a half millimeter driver, hex driver for the set screw. And we'll pull the set screw out, insert some of the Loctite. And I can't seem to do this without making a mess. Make sure you've got a paper towel or something handy. Um, you may also find that for these large pulleys, you'll probably need quite a bit more Loctite than you expect. The hole is really quite deep. And there are two set screws in these as well, as well as the small pulleys, and make sure you get them both. Wipe off any excess. I can't seem to help, but it drips and excess all over the place. I'm inserting the shaft here, but you can see the excess of Loctite. Make sure you clean it up. Here I'm inserting and removing the shaft several times to make sure I get as much Loctite out of the center hole as possible. I probably should have used a Q-tip or something like that to help clean this up. And make sure when you screw in the set screw that you don't insert it in too far, that you can't insert the shaft. So um, you have, may have to make some adjustments here. Once that's settled, just like before in our practice run, insert the bearing and align these up nicely. Tighten the set screws. And make sure you get both set screws. And clean up as we go. And Again, insert the two washers, I should say spacers, bearing, two more spacers, small pulley, 
and the bearing. Here I've spilled Loctite on my work surface. Need to clean that up as soon as possible. This stuff is really, really hard to get off. Remove the set screws for the small pulley. Insert some Loctite. Insert the set screw back in. Make sure you do the second set screw as well. This is probably another place where a Q-tip would have been really handy. And if you can, try to use a lot less Loctite than I have. It's just pouring out of my little squeeze bottle here. Tighten both set screws. After you've repeated that effort for the other three shafts, we will start to assemble the belt drives for the Z-axis. I've temporarily taken the two outer bearings off to make it a little bit easier to assemble. Um, we'll take the 3D printed uh, Z drive housings that we generated earlier. They'll fit together like this. Uh, you'll need the extra long M3 screws. Uh, you'll need six for each of these housings, um, which we'll insert and we'll combine with the heat set inserts on the other side. Uh, first, make sure you get the belt on. And as you can see, it's a tight fit. I'll fit the other bearing on. Make sure that belt is aligned because once you screw the top, it'll be impossible to get back in place. You can see it's a very, very tight fit. Um, make sure that belt is on. And when you insert these six screws, don't tighten each screw one by one. Tighten them a little bit one by one, rotating around in a pattern until they're all fully tightened in. Once all four are assembled, we will be adding the three additional heat set inserts which will be used to fasten the silicon suction cup feet, which the entire printer will stand upon. So as we've done these before, make sure these are inserted. I have a hard time, but they do go in and check to make sure they're nice and flush and go ahead and do these to all four. Here I've taken the four foot mounts, I've inserted the M5 nuts and the three M3 bolts. And these attach to the bottom. I'm hand cranking these a little bit, at least initially. Um, I found them just slightly hard to align, um, but they do eventually align. I'm being careful here. I'm not flipping these over as I tighten these screws because I'm a little bit worried the M5 nut that's on the inside might drop out or move out of place. I don't think it's possible because I think the large pulley's in the way, but it's better to be safe than sorry.
So now we take the M5 hex bolt, uh, insert it through the bottom of the rubber foot, and bolt it in and finish the rest. So now we'll install the Z-Drive motor mounts. For this, you'll need the four Z-Drive motors and the 3D printed mounts. That thin edge where my thumb was against um, will be directly opposite the socket on the stepper motor. Um, at least that's what you can use for alignment. And be careful, uh, otherwise you'll have to dis disassemble these later to get the wiring correct. And I'm hand tightening these so they're firm, uh, but not extra tight. Uh, I actually broke a pair of these motor mounts by making them too tight. And repeat this for all four motors. Thank you for watching, and please hit like, and please hit subscribe. And stay tuned for the next installment where we will assemble the base. Thank you.